What if my soulmate comes along and I'm too blind to see it? I don't know who he is, and neither does he. Kent? As in Clark Kent? I'm surprised you even remember who I am. Who's cousin? You're not the only one who misses her. I'm just the only one doing something about it. I get the feeling you like to do things yourself. My dad raised me to be independent and self-sufficient. That'd be one way to describe you. You know, the only thing I like about you at the moment is your mom. You can't possibly be as weird as I think you are with the mom that cool. Lois? He's bossy. Stuck up, she's rude. I can't stand her. The best ones always turn that way. For those of us who have moved beyond story hour, I was thinking something more like an email. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. How much time have you two been spending together? Too much. You never know when the next love of your life is right around the corner. Funny, I never thought she'd fall for the farm boy type. Trust me, that can happen to the best of us. Not me. Give me a nerd with glasses any day of the week. Clark has many sides. A lot of things are possible in this world, but there will be a man on Mars before Clark and I go to prom together. How do I look? Looks like you're going to the prom. <laughs> Lois? I'm glad you're back. Make sure you never take them away. Oh, Smallville? You got it all wrong, lady. There is nothing romantic between Lois and Clark. And it hit me. Lois and Clark. Lois and Clark? Us. That's like hot fudge and halibut. I guess that explains why we're friends. Oh, we're friends now? I won't tell anyone if you don't. Probably crashed and burned on that one. Must be a daily ritual for you. If you break your heart, I'll come back and I'll break your legs. I know how devastated you must be, but if you could just keep your tears to a minimum, I'd appreciate it. I'll try. Do you always have to finish people's thoughts? Well, am I right? Well, I'm not sure what I'm going to do without you. Is there anything I can do to make this move go faster? Maybe pack your three closets of clothing, burn your loofah sponge? Take your white snake collection of goodwill. You can take this. Come on, Smuggle. Move it. You may not know it yet, but believe me, there's a bond. I have a deep connection to him. I felt it. Then your radar's on the fritz. Because even on a good day, we're barely friends. You would never have been able to pull away from me if he wasn't drawn by his attraction to you. Maybe you have to get through all the wrong men so you can recognize the right one. I've known a lot of guys who want to own the world. I haven't met very many who actually want to say that. Unless I promise someday, you meet someone even more special. Except they can't quite imagine there is anyone else out there. Oh, you never know, Clark. Even when you finally crack open that piggy bank, you'll find that all this time you haven't been saving for a buddy. You've really been saving for a Harley. Lois, I'm sure you'll find someone who's better suited for you. There are times when I think you don't know me at all. Others where I think you know me better than anyone. I don't know. I think that when the right girl walks into your life, you'll know. I know you didn't tell Lana the truth because you wanted to protect her. But maybe there was actually more to it. Do you think you didn't tell her because maybe deep down, you didn't think she was the one? Deep down, underneath it all, do you love this man? Do you? Do you love this woman? You know, speaking of the right person, since you don't have a plus one tonight, I'd like you to meet one of my friends. Name's Clark Kent. Have you heard of him? That bumbling tadpole is not my prince charm. Well, maybe you just need to jump as little as that and plant one off. Come on. I've seen the way you two look at each other. You need to get your eyesight checked, Olsen. Clark doesn't like me, he likes driving me crazy. Lois and Clark would be great together. Oh my god.